Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Today we're checking out another mod and this time it's called the Valet Missions mod. That means we are actually doing Valet in GTA 5. Now if you're not familiar with what a Valet job is, it's literally those people that pull up outside or like sit outside of hotels, at, you know, their entrances and go, oh, do you want us to park your car somewhere? It's that. You do that in GTA now. So all you gotta do to get started with this mod, you've gotta go to the Von Krastenberg Hotel in Richmond. Uh, there is a dollar sign on the map as you saw at the beginning of the video, that's where it is located. Uh, it's also the location for one of the assassination missions, if I remember correctly. And literally, all you do have to do is go there, go up to the rack of uh, suitcases, or whatever they're called. You know, the, what the valet things pull. Um, you know, press B, start the missions, and then just sit there and wait for people to come and deliver their cars to you. Once you've done that, get in the car, go park in the garage. Doesn't matter anywhere. You don't get penalised. Now, this is where I'd like to see an update. You don't get penalised for where you park, so you could actually just park... Um, you know, anywhere, like not in a parking space. In, I feel like if you if they updated it to actually have a parking space, that'd be really cool. But then again, that's just me. So once you put the car in the space or anywhere in the parking garage, um, you know, as long as you remember, that's all that matters. All you need to do is walk back, and then that is literally it. So once you've delivered the car into the parking garage, all you gotta do is walk back to the be beginning and actually just wait for another car to pull up. Now you'll see as well when you get in a new car, it'll actually say this is number 578. I think it was 500 for me anyway. I, I don't know if the numbers will be the same for you. But it'll say this is car number, drive it into the garage. So that's actually very significant because it's this part of the mod isn't just driving cars into a garage. You do actually have to collect them too. So don't cheat and get a pen and paper. Try and do this legit, but you know, you've gotta remember where the cars are. So like I was saying, you've gotta remember where the cars are is alternatively if you don't see a car come in you'll see a blue icon on the map and they'll want their car back they'll say my car number is yeah 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 go and get it now this is where you've got to remember how to park your cars now you now a strategy I would recommend you doing is actually park them in order like of the number they've came in so as long as you remember the starting num number then you'll be fine I should, I should say as well, you do actually get paid for doing this. It's very crap and terrible, I must say, the pay. It's not, like, compared to, like, you get how much pay you get through heists. It's obviously superior to that, uh, you know. I think the most I got was, like, a $42 tip, and then at the end it actually rates you, like, how good your parking was and stuff like that. So I found that's quite cool. So anyway, there you go. That is the valet parking mod. Thanks to LC Buffalo. Uh, link to the description if you want to download this. All you're going to need is scriptook5.net and the script hook from Alexander Blade, and it's just a simple drag and drop it into the scripts folder, and that is it installed. So there you go, if you want to check it out, just download it yourself, and I can't wait for all these monotonous and more mini-jobs to come <laughs> through mods, so there you go. But anyway, guys, enjoy the rest of the gameplay in the background, it's just me doing some more value missions, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye for now. Right, all that diet mess, and I prefer stuffing my face with up and atom whenever I play.
say I am.